Now, a satellite has blasted into orbit to measure the levels of methane gas in the atmosphere. Methane is believed to be a major contributor to global warming because it traps in heat. The new project will flag where there are high levels of the greenhouse gas. Our climate editor, Justin Rowlatt, has more. Three, two, one, ignition and lift off. A Falcon 9 rocket blasts off overnight. Amongst its payload, a satellite designed to sniff out the telltale fingerprint of methane in the light reflected back from Earth. It will orbit 15 times a day, tracking methane emissions leaking from oil and gas facilities around the globe. The sector is an important source of this powerful planet warming gas. We know that these emissions are fixable. So with current technologies, the, all the emissions of all the methane emissions from the oil and gas operations can actually be fixed at not at almost zero cost. So if you don't know where, where the emissions are happening, you cannot fix them. So if you have data on where the emissions are, are happening, you can fix them. The data will be publicly available. It will help oil and gas companies identify leaks from their operations. And at the same time, regulators and the general public will be able to check to make sure those leaks are fixed. The Environmental Defence Fund, the US-based charity behind the satellite, hopes the data it provides will help cut methane emissions from oil and gas infrastructure by almost half by the end of the decade. T plus 30 seconds into flight. And Justin joins me in the studio now. Justin, really fascinating this. Um, you say the data will be public. Does that mean we might see companies named and shamed as part of this? They're, they're quite, it's quite interesting how they talk about this. So this is uh, the Environmental Defence Fund, a US kind of climate charity that's, that's behind the satellite. And they say, look, we're going to in release the data publicly. And that means that oil and gas facility operators can look for leaks on their own estate, on their own operations, and then try and fix them. And often that's actually in their benefit. Methane gas is natural gas. It's what people burn in their homes to power their boilers and that kind of thing. So it's very useful. So plugging leaks means you've got more of the stuff, which obviously is good news. So it means actually it can be profitable to plug, plug the leaks or, or, or very cheap. So they have an interest to do it, but there are occasions when they release methane where it might be very difficult to fix. And in that case, then the data is out there publicly, so regulators and indeed the general public, campaigning organisations, could say, well, look, there's been a leak there for two days. Why haven't you done anything about it? So, yeah, we will be able to use that data to, to identify leaks and make sure that people plug them where they, where they can uh, and should plug them. And it's fascinating that this is, because it's real time, you will be able to spot that if it's happening by accident somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's near real time, so there's a slight delay getting the signal down from the satellite. Yeah, you can track it and you can then, in fact, uh, they're working with Google is using an AI tool to kind of map the underlying um, uh, oil and gas infrastructure. So, because obviously a plume of methane would drift and then they can work out on the basis of how the wind's blowing and track back to, to identify exactly where it's come from within a, a, a company's infrastructure. I should just say, I mean, on methane, it is a very powerful warming gas, 80 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide, but crucially hangs around in the atmosphere far less time. So about 12 years compared to centuries for carbon dioxide. So what that means is if we can reduce emissions of methane, we can begin to slow uh, climate change much more quickly. And methane is a big contributor. It's about a third of all the climate change we've experienced since the, uh, since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution is from methane. So this is a really important target and this is a really useful tool. Yeah, I was going to say, so basically this satellite could mean that there we eventually have less global warming. It will reduce the rate at which the climate, because there's so much carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere, we're not going to stop global warming. We are going to slow the pro help slow the progress and the ambitions are really quite bold they're saying um, about <clears throat> up to 45 percent of, uh, of methane emissions from oil and gas which is about a third of all anthropogenic man-made methane emissions so a big component of it um, they will be able to c help cut using the output from the satellite the data produced by the satellite so it's a really kind of p potentially extremely useful tool Okay, Justin, thank you very much indeed. Fascinating, fascinating, absolutely.